Yeah, well this morning we're still dealing with some fog out there, some mist, just cloudy skies, a dreary day in store. And that's going to continue for the rest of the morning hours. Right now, we're sitting in the 40s, if not the low 50s, for a few of our lower elevations. But what a difference. This time yesterday, we were talking about temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Now we're talking about the 40s, if you're lucky, the 50s. So a lot cooler, and that's all because of these northwest winds. That's bringing in that cooler air. Right now, averaging about 5 to 15 miles per hour, but those wind gusts are a lot stronger in the 25 to 35 mile per hour range, even getting above 40 in our higher elevations in Pocahontas County. That's why they're under a wind advisory today. But you can see they just continue for the rest of the day into the overnight hours. They die down a little bit, but we'll still have gusts upwards of 20, 30 miles per hour, and that's going to make temperatures feel a lot colder out there. This is 3 p.m. middle of the afternoon. It's going to be feeling like the 30s out there. Bluefield 36, Princeton as well. The lower elevations elevations in the 40s, but you can see we get colder into the overnight hours. We're getting into the 20s, 30s in some locations. And as you're stepping out the door tomorrow, you will certainly want to bring that jacket with you because we're talking about feels like temperatures in the 20s, many feeling like below freezing out there. It's going to be a chilly morning to start off your Wednesday, but right now, most of us just have some mist. Radar's not picking up on much of that right now, but what we do have is a lot of cloud cover out there, and that's going to continue for the rest of the day. You can see showers picking back up into the morning hours, temperatures in the 40s, and we're going to stay in the 40s for the entire day. Temperatures not changing much. We look to dry up more into the later afternoon and the evening hours. As we head into the overnight hours, most of us should be dry with mostly cloudy skies. A few isolated showers are possible mainly north of I-64, but we're going to get chilly tonight, most getting down into the 30s, if not the low 40s. And as you're waking up tomorrow, stepping out the door, temperatures in the 30s, 40s. We are dry, though, mainly cloudy skies. The sunshine makes a return tomorrow afternoon. We'll have a mix of clouds and sunshine, temperatures more seasonable in the 50s, if not a few of us may get into the low 60s. And that's all because of this high pressure. You can see it's moving into our area, sitting right over top of us for the day tomorrow. But that's going to move off to the east, allowing this low pressure system to move into our area. That'll bring rain Thursday, Friday, even into the day Saturday as well. So a lot of rain that we've had recently brought down some leaves. So Today, not looking like the best day. We still have the chance for some showers during the morning hours. It's going to be windy as well with those winds out of the northwest, some wet ground conditions. But tomorrow looks to be a much better day. Lighter winds. We're drying out. We should stay dry all day. Thursday, that's when we have the rain return to our region. Those winds start picking up as well with that other low pressure system. But today, the chance for some showers at times. We're going to be breezy with temperatures cooling down. We're in the upper 40s this morning, but we're going to be dropping down to the low to mid 40s this afternoon. Tonight's going to be a cold one in the 30s. We stay dry, though, with breezy conditions continuing. Tomorrow we dry out. The sunshine returns, but not for long. Some rain comes back into the area Thursday, Friday, end of the day, Saturday with cooler temperatures as well. Right now we look to dry up just in time for some trick-or-treating on Halloween. All right, Colin, thank you so much.